Okay, uh, starting up where we left off with the previous demonstration showing you how to create a player. Uh, we have, now I'm going to show you a little bit about some of the other objects in the prefabs panel uh, that actually allow you to make an exciting game. So, uh, where we left off was we had uh, a prefab player, which I dragged over and then uh, created a new player, which is pretty much exactly the same. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this guy and uh, that way we can start with, if I remember how to use this tool, I'm going to get rid of him so we can start with just a single player. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag a platform over here, which all the platform is is just a box, basically a box, but its motion has been constrained to static object does not move or rotate ever. That way it's stuck to the background uh, as if it was part of the background. And oops, I changed the size there so the graphics are funny. Let's fix that really quick. And you, actually, you can actually do that in the preview. There we go. Now it's correct. And if I click test, now he's on a platform and he can fall off the platform. Okay. So that's very simply a platform. Very easy to make. You can make it with any texture you want just by changing the texture here to anything. Um, let's go with brick. Uh, okay, now, let's make something exciting here. Let's make a coin. For instance, this coin right here, we can just drag on to the game, and uh, now we have a way to score in the game. So if I click test here really quickly, oops. Well, let's check this out. The reason that didn't work is because I didn't assign sensor layers. So I skipped that step. I showed you previously um, the way the prefab was set up. I'll drag him over here real quick. Prefab is assigned to these sensor layers. Uh, and these are very arbitrary, but I gave them uh, card suits uh, just to make it uh, appear different than the other layers so you don't get confused, confused when you're talking about it or thinking about it. Collision layers are numbers, pass through layers are letters, and then the sensor layers are suits. So um, basically it's pre-assigned to the uh, club, diamond, and spade layer. So, let's get rid of him again. And uh, let's take a look at that coin we dragged over. The coin is assigned to the club layer. So, if I go ahead and assign my player to the club layer as well, well then we'll get a sensor event occur when these two objects touch because they're both on the same sensor layer. Let's try it out. Yay, we just scored a point. Okay, now, what happened? Well, what happened was this object touched that object. They're on the same sensor layer. And how did I get a score? Well, uh, if we look at the player, there are no sensor events happening here. If I look at my on sensor event, there are no actions applied to it. That's okay because the coin does have actions. So what happens is on sensor event for the coin, uh, we have actually two things happen. We have score and remove. And uh, the reason we have two is because once we got the coin we want it to go away. So if I, for instance, if I turn that off, now we only get a score. Hold on a second. That shouldn't have happened. Let me check. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot to click apply. I always do this. Uh, we'll remove this and then we'll click apply. Uh, and then we'll click test. And you can see, yes, I got a point, but gee, there's still a coin there. And it's kind of confusing because I can walk right through it and it's kind of confusing. And let's look again. Uh, why could I walk through that anyway? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I always ask good questions to myself. Um, we have uh, the object on no collision layer. So no collision occurs, but a sensor event still fires. So that's useful for you to understand. You don't actually have to have a collision occur for the sensor event to occur. Those are separate. So, let's turn this back on. Let's actually create a, a coin uh, from scratch. So let's, let's return this to its previous state. We'll reset this like it was. And uh, let's make a new object that's gonna be our coin. And we're just gonna draw a fresh coin here. We're gonna make a circle and this is going to be a large coin, a very large coin. And uh, I'm going to take, a, take you through it step by step. 
So here is our circle, and right now if we click test, it's just a circle. And we just run into it. Nothing really happens coin-wise. It's not a coin yet. So let's take our next step. And uh, since we're in the creation mode here, let's go ahead and turn off all the collision layers. That's our step, first step. Now we can walk through it. And then we're going to I always put this on the, in the case of this convention I've set up for the prefabs, I put it on pass through layer A. And the reason being is because these baddies, uh, if I drag you a baddie on here and I look at this baddie, he's also on pass through layer A. And the reason for that is um, because I don't want my baddies to actually score for me. So I put them on a pass through layer and then when they pass through a coin, they don't fire a sensor event and they don't score for me, so they're actually not helping me at all. So, let's set up our, uh, we turned off our collision layers and we'll turn on that pass through layer. And then the final thing is to set up that sensor layer like we had before. We're gonna put that sensor, uh, we're gonna turn on the sensor club layer, which if I look at my player, he's also on the club layer. So they're sharing the sensor layer, so there should be a sensor event fired. So we'll quickly test. Uh, click test and uh, nothing happens and that's okay because uh, the reason being is we didn't set up our action yet so I'm going to tie the basically tie the uh, sensor event to a score action so when sensor event when when the sensor event happens to this object the action that uh, is applied is the score action so let's click test and we should score a point and we did and again, uh, it's still there, so let's uh, add another action. Uh, when that sensor event happens, we want to remove it as well. So uh, the, good thing that, the good thing about this is you can have a score happen. Even though you remove it, you remove it right after that score happens. So there we go. There is your coin. The only thing left to do now is to make it look like a coin. And we'll go to our paint mode, and uh, we're going to turn off the outline, we're going to turn off the fill, now it's invisible. Uh, and you can see I can still uh, magically score a point even though I can't see what I just did. Which is maybe that is a good way to make an interesting game. But I think we're going to be conventional about this and choose the coin texture. So now we have a giant coin and uh, now if we... There we go. So now you've created a coin just like this prefab. Very simple, just a circle with uh, all the collision layers turned off and you chose a sensor layer and you assigned a score action to it. There you go.